Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the rest of July 2023. Uh, the Eight of Swords just wanted to really interrupt my introduction. <laughs> the Eight of Swords is showing me someone prying open someone's diary, trying to find out what it is that's being hidden inside of that diary, not realizing that there's a key right above that diary that's gonna give them all of the answers that they're seeking, okay? Nine of Swords on the bottom, someone's stressing out big time about their love life and thinking that their person is hiding something from them. Seven of Cups, confusion. We'll see if these cards come back out. Let me finish my intro. Uh, what was I saying? Welcome to my channel, Aquarius. In today's reading, I'm gonna pull a seven card spread, see who you're dealing with romantically. I'll find out how they feel about you, take a look at their true intentions with you, take a look at their behavior and actions towards you for the remainder of July, 2023. And I'll also take a look at what's in your blind spot with this person, meaning what could be negatively impacting your connection with this person that you may not be aware of just yet, whether you're doing something to sabotage the connection unbeknownst to you or your person is, or something external seems to not want you guys to be together for whatever reason. Um, I'll find out all that today, followed by your advice. Now the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords wanted to hop out. A lot of air energy trying to come through. Someone's really trying to seek out information about their person around this time. And I am looking at that Seven of Swords showing me someone doing a very thorough background investigation. And this is Aquarius energy. Aquarius, are you not trusting your person right now and their intentions towards you? Because it is showing me you seeking out a lot of information. And if that's not you, that's your person. Okay, a lot of air trying to come through. You may be dealing with a fellow air sign. Aquarius, love, July 2023, two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my awesome Aquarians. Okay, so the person you're connecting to around this time, how do they truly feel about you? We have the Page of Swords. They feel like they need more information off of you. They feel like they wanna to talk to you. They're really interested in picking your brain on what you feel right now. And this is the card we just saw a second ago. So this person is definitely feeling like they have to watch you for some reason. They're watching you like a hawk. Who else got this recently? Um, was it Sagittarius or was it um, Scorpio? Scorpio. Some of you guys could be connecting with a Scorpio, but this is Libra energy. But with their feelings for you being the Page of Swords, they feel like they have to watch you and observe you before um, moving forward in some direction. Okay, we'll see. What's their true intentions with you? The Knight of Swords, and that's the other card that came out. So all the uh, pre-shuffled cards are coming out in the reading. This person really wants to talk to you. They're coming in quick with a lot of communication, Aquarius. Your phone's gonna be like buzzing because the Knight of Swords is Gemini energy and Gemini's planet ruler is Mercury and Mercury is the planet of thoughts and communication. This person has been feeling like they needed to think through something and now they are they have thought something through. Now they're ready to communicate it with you um, and they'll use use any means by men, by any which to communicate with you. Whether it's to text you where you see the sign here where some letters are shown, or it's to phone call you and talk to you over the phone um, verbally. They wanna to talk to you big time. So what's their behavior towards Aquarius for the rest of the month? The Three of Cups. For some of you, you got someone that's trying to reconcile differences with you and they, they want to be with you. For others, this is someone that's realizing that they either want to take the friendship to something more romantic and they want to pick your brain to see how you feel about them, or um, you got someone really excited about some sort of new opportunity with you and they, they, they can't get enough of talking to you. They get excited when they see your name on their phone. They get excited when they watch you online. They, they like what they see. Because the Three of Cups as their behavior towards you is the energy of wanting to always be around you, wanting to break bread with you, wanting to have a drink with you, a coffee. It's, it's, it's wanting to be around someone that makes you feel good about yourself. They feel like when they're around you, they feel good about themselves. And who wouldn't want to be around people that make us feel good, you know? I know I like to be around people that make me feel good. So you've got someone coming towards you with an incoming text message inviting you out to have some drinks or to just hang out, you know, and just make make fun, okay? 
Just keep in mind though that we are in Venus in retrograde. So if this is someone that you have had some sort of disconnect with where there hasn't been any communication, uh, Venus in retrograde does bring back people, whether romantic, platonic, familial, back into our lives for us to look at those relationships a little bit more and ask ourselves, are we done learning from this person or is there more left to learn? Because the Page of Swords is also my student card. Someone may feel like they have more to learn from you, more to learn from this relationship, okay? Now, how do you feel about them? The Page of Cups, you like them. Whomever this person is for you, Aquarius, you're open to a new start. Whether they are someone brand new in your life and you guys are excited to be chatting with each other and there's feelings developing on your end already, or you're open to looking at this relationship with a glass half full, if this is someone that you are, you are having a reunion with, Three of Cups, okay? Now, what could be hurting this relationship? The Six of Swords, someone unable to move on from some conflict, someone unable to keep, you know, uh, keep the boat from rocking, you know, someone that likes to rock the boat from time to time is always the, the one that starts the drama. Uh, Libra energy. Aquarius, you could feel like there's someone in your life that means well, but may say or do things that really irritate you from time to time. Okay, and that could be hurt in a relationship. Because the Six of Swords is the energy of having a peaceful connection with someone, and it's also the energy of being able to move past a painful situation with someone. And someone's gonna be struggling with moving on from something. Um, or someone's going to be excited to reunite, but might put their foot in their mouth and say something that irritates another, and you're back to where you started with this person. All right, this is where clarifying is gonna help me, okay? What can Aquarius expect for the rest of July 2023 with this person? You doing some investigation, Seven of Swords. Look at that, every single one of the cards that came out during the pre-shuffle came out. This is you doing a, a very extensive background check on this person, whether you're watching a bunch of tarot readings, trying to see if this person's hiding something from you, up to no good, someone not to trust, or you just feel like you have to look at, you know, every little angle and dissect it part by part by part by piece by piece to see if there's anything that you're overlooking. To be inside of an Aquarian's brain is a very interesting experience. <laughs> I love Aquarians. I have an Aquarius self node, so I'm more of an Aquarian than I was a Leo. I'm a uh, Leo North node. So I understand Aquarians, because I still do this myself. You know, you, you guys don't want to be played. Aquarians do not like to be played. You will think in your head over and over again before you verbalize it to somebody else. People will never know what is really going on in your head until weeks later, right? Something you were thinking about four weeks ago in, innately um, is something that's coming up now. So it, it does feel like you're doing some research on your person and that's why you're watching me today. You want to know about this person that you're talking to, whether they have good intentions with you, or whether or not you should tell them to go pound sand. Okay? Let's get your advice. The devil. Now, with your devil being your advice, they're saying to don't get too attached to this person just because they look good, smell good, or because you're, you're feeling the intensity of the connection. It's also the energy of never allowing yourself to get tied and bound to something that is not healthy for you, that is not good for your well-being. Um, it, it's definitely the energy of not all that glitters is gold and to keep your eyes peeled open, which I do see with that Seven of Swords here. Okay, you're doing a very thorough investigation on your love life because you do not want to get hurt. You may come in with innocence with that page of cups, but you're wanting anybody to know that don't let the innocence fool you. That Aquarian has a lot of smarts behind that, that youthful presence. Because some of you had this very youthful presence where you look very innocent, you look very sweet, but be behind that sweet disposition is someone that knows not to get screwed over and you're always 10 steps ahead of people. You're always doing like an investigation on their social media before you give them your phone number or seeing if they have like a whole bunch of other, you know, women or men that they're, that they're talking to. 
All right, what's the overall energy for the connection? The Page of Wands. You've got someone coming towards you very flirty around this time, Aquarius, and they're gonna be inviting you out. They're gonna be inviting you out, and I feel like you're gonna be excited to talk to this person, but there's gonna be something about their offer that you're wanting to investigate before you accept. All right, but they are coming to you with an offer. They like you a lot, whoever this person is. But I feel like I have an Aquarius that has been burned before too many times to just accept someone into their life easily like that, right? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You do not want to get fooled again. Not saying that this person hurt you, but somebody before this person may have hurt you badly. Or if it was this person, you're, you're trying to do your best to trust the process. As I open up to the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords, I'm getting a lot of repeated sevens. July 7th may, may have meant something very important to you, but you know, sevens in spirituality talk about luck being on your side, you about to have some, some luck turn in your favor. It's also the energy of ascensions. You know, sevens are a number of when you're about to level up, okay? And someone may be a part of your level up and there's a huge lesson that you've learned and, you know, uh, you've made some major growth, okay? So let's see. So your person's feelings for you, Aquarius, is the Page of Swords. Love and love and make a wish. Why the Page of Swords? Five of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. You've got somebody coming towards you that you may have left out in the cold or you abandoned, um, or they abandoned you in their back with the Knight of Wands, okay? Yeah, the Death card and the Five of Pentacles and the Justice card, Libra energy. It does feel like, and Scorpio energy, it does feel like you got somebody here who's excited to talk to you, but they feel like um, you may not trust them openly. All right, or this is somebody that's gone through a major change in their life and they're um, eager to start over in their life, but may fear um, abandonment from time to time. Okay, this is where digging in is gonna help me. So your feelings for this person, Aquarius, is the Page of Cups. You might have water in your chart. You're, you're optimistic about something. Why the Page of Cups? You do like this person. Why the Page of Cups? Well, Six of Wands and the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is that card that we saw done during the pre-shuffle. And the Six of Wands is the energy of seeing a lot of success and victory in a relationship. It's Leo energy. So possibly during Leo season, you may be getting this love offer from this person. And the more you think about this love offer, the more you com you feel confused with that Eight of Swords on the legitimate, the legitimacy of the offer. I can't say that freaking word, legitimacy. You know what I mean. Um, the more you look at this offer from this person around this time, you start to question their loyalty, whether or not you can trust this love offer, whether they have your best intentions in mind. You do like their attention, Six of Wands. You do like how they are making you feel around this time, but you also don't want to get um, hurt. And the Wheel of Fortune is showing up, which is telling me that for some of you, this situation with this person came out of nowhere. So, their intentions towards you is the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. That really helps. <laughs> I love it when they give me the same card as the one I'm asking about. Uh, the Strength card, Leo Energy. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Leo or something is happening during Leo season. Now, they intend to not let, be left behind in regards to you. They're, they're coming up with a lot of confidence, a lot of strength to not be left behind. Because the Knight of Swords is that energy of someone making a decisive decision, um, making up their mind, and going after what they want really quickly, not wasting any time. So you got someone that's taking fast action to offer you something stable with that Ace of Pentacles, but it's going to be up to you to decide whether or not you can trust it with that King of Swords energy. Now the King of Swords is your court card. You're showing me that you are putting your heart chakra on a bed of ice right now. You're keeping it frozen for the time being while you think through the situation and reason with yourself on whether being with this person makes sense to you or not, or this is someone that is not good for you and that you need to just let go altogether. You're, you're letting your brain do the talking and, and then if your brain makes sense of it, that's when you're Heart chakra is going to warm up and start being more open and vulnerable with this person, but not until your brain gives you the green light. 
that's what I'm getting because this person's coming in with a love offer ace of Pentacles it's 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 something stable yes um, this is the energy of wanting to build a family tree with somebody but I definitely feel like I have an Aquarian that's like I got it I got to make sure that this is the right thing for me I've got it I got to check this out you know What's hurting the relationship is the Six of Swords. Maybe if you did have something with this person in the past, you are not able to let go of the past because of something that happened that hurt you. As I say that, I open up to the judgment to the King of Swords. You're trying to use your judgment. You may feel like your judgment is a little bit hazy right now with this person because of the attraction you guys have for each other to where them smooth talking you can make you forget about everything, you know, letting, keeping your guard up. Uh, judgment is also about second chances, reconciliations. This person may be trying to get a second chance with you and you're like, oh my goodness, I've got to use my judgment here with this person. They always seem to know how to get me vulnerable and soften up and just feel forget about what they've done to me and let them back in if this is a reconciliation. Clarify the Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. Oh, my Lanta. Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Three of Swords. Oh man, I'm getting so many repeated uh, cards for you. The message is like coming in strong. You guys have gone through some pain together and someone's struggling with moving past that pain and forgiving someone again. That's what it feels like, whether you hurt this person, they hurt you, or you both hurt each other. Someone here is struggling with moving on from some sort of pain. And if this is someone new in your life, Aquarius, that never hurt you and you never hurt them it feels like you both are struggling with trusting each other because of the the bs you guys may have gone through in the past you both have a lot of heavy burden on your shoulders and your advice is to let go of anything that is no longer serving you and not let your past define your present and your future with that devil so let's clarify this person's behavior and actions towards you for the rest of the month, Three of Cups. It feels like during cancer season, because that's cancer energy, you may have started talking to this person a bit more, getting a lot closer to this person. Why the Three of Cups? Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups. For some of you, someone made a, a, a decision to walk away from a relationship and is coming back around with the Three of Cups. And someone's very indecisive about whether or not to accept this person back in with that Two of Swords, Libra energy, because of the rejection that they feel for of Cups. Um, someone is wanting to revisit a, a, an opportunity to build a relationship with someone after they, they took off impulsively. It kind of reminds me of someone like talking to you and all of a sudden they stopped talking to you and they went days without communicating and now they regret it. So now they're back to offer you something stable. But now that they've already proven to you that they can leave once, you're, you're in this energy of what if they leave again? What if this is a repeated start, stop, start, stop type of dynamic and I feel like I'm in a rubber band relationship that's going to pull away, separate, and then snap back and then I'm the one that's left with you know a, a mess to clear up. All right, you feel like you're stuck with this person at times, like energetically, like you can't forget this person, you can't move on from this person, but you also can't let go of the past is what it feels like. Yeah, this definitely feels like someone that you have something um, going on here. This is not someone new popping up and saying, hey, Aquarius, here's my phone number. You got somebody here that's excited about a future with you, but did their past with you already screw up a future with you? So, the potential outcome for the end of July is the Seven of Swords. This is you keeping secrets to yourself, keeping your, your truth to yourself, investigating whether or not they are lying to you, whether you need to lie to them. There's, there's definitely some sneakiness going on here on both sides. Why the Seven of Swords? The Queen of Swords. Aquarius energy again and Libra. Look at you, you're climbing to the top of that tree to get a bird's eye view of what you're dealing with with this person because you feel like this person brings unnecessary drama at times or you wonder if there's other people in the mix five of wands. Look at that, from start to finish, I've got a air sign here that's like, what am I not seeing? Is this person really who they said that they are? Or am I gonna get screwed over in the process? I need to get a closer look. You know, you're looking at every angle Top of the tree, down below, on internet, you know, you're just like, you don't trust this person at all. And you want the truth, Ace of Swords. 
but in my experience if you don't trust somebody you need to look at why you don't trust them before even offering them a relationship which for the majority of you you are clearly doing you want to investigate why your intuition is saying don't trust this person so your advice is the devil why the devil judgment use your judgment and the five of swords now the five of swords is the energy of watch your back when it comes to your advice they may be saying that this person may be acting uh, like they have your best intentions right now because they're excited about a new start with you but really watch your back and ask yourself does this person have my best interest in mind or is this person trying to keep me stuck in a loop where it's you know giving to them and taking from me because I do feel like um, you've got someone fighting to be with you and Six of Cups. You really need to really look within and ask yourself what this connection is teaching you about yourself. The moon fell out and a card fell on the floor. Three of Pentacles. Ask help from other people. Get guidance from other people. Get help from other people. Talk to your friends um, with that Three of Pentacles. Clarify that page of wands. The Three of Wands and the Five of Cups. So Aquarius, you're getting this, this love offer. Someone's coming to you wanting to offer you something with that Ace of Pentacles, Three of Cups, King of Cups. But someone's having trouble letting go of the past. Someone's having trouble forgiving someone from the past. So I feel like at the end of July, you have a lot of thinking to do, a lot of researching to do. And I feel like as you go into August, this is gonna be a to be continued. I feel like I said that to you recently. I'm wondering if we got like a similar message in your uh, last week's reading Aquarius. This is feeling very familiar to somebody. Now, if you're in recent no contact with somebody, I'm gonna find out their hidden feelings for you right now. But if you resonated with this reading Aquarius, you could be connecting with a Pisces, a Cancer, a Leo, a Libra, strong Pisces, a Scorpio, um, strong air energy for you. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like to book a private reading with me, Aquarius, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. If this reading did not resonate, there's three other Aquarius July 2023 readings to watch in my July playlist. And my most recent all signs reading, you can click on the Aquarius timestamp. I still feel connected to you. Well, hold on, rewind. I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before. I do now. I knew you were right, but I couldn't admit it to myself or you. Someone's coming back around knowing that you were right about something. The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. For some of you, someone's back just because they don't want you hooking up with anyone else. I want to contact our mutual friends to ask about you. Yeah, someone's asking mutual friends about you, see if you're seeing anyone or you know, talking to other people before they come in. So that's what I have for you. I'll do your August monthly in a few days. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, follow your own heart, use your own judgment and your own intuition about the situation and never make any decisions off of a tarot reading. You know yourself better. All right, Aquarius, I love you. Till next time, later Gators.